Today I'm going to talk about the state equation and derivation of a boost converter. So I've got a standard boost converter circuit um, right here with a voltage in uh, an inductor, series inductor, and then a smooth capacitor, and then the load resistor. Uh, before I do the state equation derivation, I'll just talk briefly about how this uh, circuit works. So when the circuit first starts, this uh, bottom switch closes, which charges up this inductor magnetic field through this inductor. Um, and then to get the voltage um, increase effect that the boost converter um, is known for across the load resistor, this bottom switch opens up after a certain amount of time, and you end up with the uh, this top switch closing, which is usually a diode. And since the inductor wants to keep maintain the current flow through it, it's going to push current through that top switch into the capacitor and in, into the load resistor. So you can see, and then, yeah, this bottom switch closes again, the top switch opens, so it kind of re repeats, repeats itself. But you can see this voltage uh, increase effect through the um, integral form of the voltage across the capacitor. So the voltage across the capacitor is simply uh, 1 over the capacitance with um, integrated, multiplied by the integrated current. So the more current you push in to the capacitor and over time, you're going to end up with a larger voltage um, across, the capa um, across the capacitance. So you end up with a voltage um, increase effect due to the nature of the inductor wanting to keep a, a constant current flowing through the circuit. So now here's the state equation um, derivation. Um, just like the buck converter, um, we're going to separate out uh, the two different switch states in the model of the circuit. So Starting off with the uh, left one, you can see we can just do KVL right here, and this is a uh, KCL right there, and then you just yeah so doing KVL on this node uh, loop, you just end up with the VN minus the L differential current through inductor, so that's the voltage across the inductor. And then you end up with a really pretty simple state equation. It's just 1 over L of Vn. So that's the first one, and it's pretty simple. And then you have a um, KCL right here, which is um, I3 minus I1 minus I2. That's the uh, current flowing in and out of the nodes in that node. So I3 is, is just simply the C C T D T. And then I1, there's actually zero current flowing because the switch, switch is open. A minus I2, which is uh, voltage across capacitor over the resistor and you end up with just a, another simple state equation, which is 1 over C and minus VC over R. So that's the, the left side. And then for the right side, we just do another um, KVL right here. And this is a KCL Right there, so doing KVL first, we just, um, since all the voltages are on this loop are going to add up to zero, we just say zero is equal to the voltage drops across the node, across the loop. We just volt, it's just simply voltage in minus uh, the voltage across the inductor, and then minus the voltage across the capacitor, and just like the buck converter, the resistance 
um, doesn't matter in this example because it's at the same potential as a closed cross capacitor. So we end up with another pretty simple static region, which is just IL dot my, uh, 1 over inductance, voltage in minus uh, voltage cross capacitor. And then for the KCO, we just have the same uh, I3 current going into the capacitor is equal to I1 minus I2. And I3 just base it's just the same. And I1, there's actually current flowing, which is the current going through the inductor. And I2 is the same voltage across the capacitor over the resistor. So you end up with another simple state equation. So RC current through the inductor. Um, yeah, current through the resistor. So you end up with this, these four um, state equations. So you can see where to include the Q now in the circuit. You can see that this uh, VC is present there and not present there. And also the current through inductor is present on the right side, not on the left side. So you end up with combining these um, four state equations together. You end up with IL dot, which is the current through inductor, differential current through inductor. And one over L voltage n is the same, and then minus the Q VC. VC, the differential voltage across the capacitor, is equal to the one of the capacitance uh, times actually the Q of L, because you're disconnecting it in that on the left side and reconnecting it on the right side. So that's a good place for another um, Q function. And then it just blows across the capacitor over the resistor. So this is your final state equation for the loose converter with uh, two, two Q functions and, and Q is either one or zero based on the switch state. And then if you add PWM uh, to the Q function, you're going to end up with a boost converter. So that's about all.